Okay boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about how to start a fire like a pro. And in this video, I'm going to show you a trick that makes fire starting with a ferro rod so easy it should be cheating. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so before we start the fire, I'm going to break down what makes or what this trick is, how to do it, and then we'll start a fire with it. So the first thing you'll need is your ingredients. The first one is going to be a ferrocerium rod, fire steel, ferro rod, whatever you want to call it, you just need one. And with this trick, you don't even necessarily need a super high quality one. The second thing you're going to need is some kind of multi-tool, uh, whether it's a Victorinox, Swiss Army knife, or a Leatherman multi-tool. The only thing that you really need on this multi-tool is going to be a file. So now let's talk about how this trick works. So if you're like me, you probably are already carrying a either Swiss Army knife, a Victorinox, a Leatherman, uh, some kind of multi-tool, and oftentimes those multi-tools have files on them. Now, I'm sure many people can think of different uses for files, but this is probably one that you guys didn't think of. And while many people know that the spine of the saw is a really good fire steel scraper or striker, like such, as you guys can see here, throws some pretty good sparks overall, but the one that really does a good job is actually the file. Okay, so over here we have our fire our little tinder bundle, but we're not going to use it just yet. So like I was saying, the file and the ferro rod are what you're after. Now a lot of people might be wondering, you know, what do you mean? To strike it like this? I don't really see much benefit in that. And that's true. You don't really want to strike the ferro rod with the file as much as you want to file the ferro rod. Essentially, you want to take your ferro rod and hypothetically your tinder bundle, pin it down with the ferro rod and begin to just file on the ferro rod. As you guys can see here, it produces some tremendous sparks. So let's actually try this with some real tinder. So here I have just some natural tinder, some birch bark that I just collected, and we're going to give this a shot. So there you guys go. Well, there you have it. That is how you start a fire like a pro. It's kind of like cheating, but that is how you strike a ferro rod with a file. And as you can see, it was extremely effective on getting a, or pouring out a shower of sparks and lighting the tinder on fire. Did take a few tries, but uh, it did work really well. Now, let's talk about now it's time for some closing thoughts. Now, what do I think of this strategy as a whole for striking ferro rods? So I probably would not use this strategy unless I was in a survival or emergency desperate type of situation. And the biggest pros to using a file to strike your ferro rod are going to be that it's a very easy, very gross motor skill to use that you can do uh, like I said, very easily, and it really pours out a shower of sparks. So if you're trying to get difficult materials to start on fire and they need a little bit of extra help, this method is really good at that. If your fingers are starting to freeze and you're starting to lose dexterity, this is a really good method to use. If you are really just trying to get a fire going quickly, this is the best method to really use. Now, the biggest disadvantage to filing your ferro rod, if you couldn't already kind of tell, and by the fact that I'm not using one of my main ferro rods, using a scrap ferro rod. This is really hard on your ferro rods. It removes a lot of material very quickly and it is overall not the best idea to do for the longevity of a ferrocerium rod. Of course, striking your ferro rods will always be the best way to conserve their life and get the most potential out of them. But once again, if you are in a survival situation, if you're desperate for a fire, this is probably the most or one of the most effective ways to strike your ferro rod. So what I recommend using it every time you want to start your fire, especially if you are in a non-emergency situation, definitely not. This is probably a little bit overkill, but if you are looking for a really effective way to get your fire going fast and strike your ferro rod like a pro, this is definitely the way to go. So as always, guys, God bless and I'm out.